When people talk about renewable energy, two technologies almost always take center stage. Solar panels versus wind turbines. You've seen them. Solar panels lining rooftops or fields and massive wind turbines spinning gracefully on hills or offshore. Both promise cleaner energy, lower emissions, and a future less dependent on fossil fuels. But the real question is, which one actually performs better? Is solar power the smarter choice, or does wind energy have the edge? To answer that, we need to look beyond appearances and dig into how these technologies really work, where they succeed, and where they fall short, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with solar panels. At their core, solar panels convert sunlight into electricity using photovoltaic cells. When sunlight hits these cells, it knocks electrons loose, creating an electric current. It sounds complex, but the concept is beautifully simple. Sunlight in, electricity out. This simplicity is one of solar energy's biggest strengths. There are no moving parts, which means less wear and tear, fewer mechanical failures, and quieter operation. Once installed, solar panels tend to work silently in the background, producing energy as long as the sun rises each day. One of the biggest advantages of solar power is its flexibility. Solar panels can be installed on rooftops, parking lots, open fields, and even floating platforms on water. This makes them accessible to homeowners, businesses, and large-scale power producers alike. You don't need vast open land or special terrain to benefit from solar energy. As long as there's sunlight, there's potential. This adaptability has helped solar power grow rapidly across both urban and rural areas. However, solar energy has its limitations. The most obvious one is that it depends heavily on sunlight. Solar panels don't produce electricity at night, and their output drops significantly on cloudy or rainy days. This inconsistency means solar systems often need battery storage or backup power sources to ensure a steady electricity supply. While battery technology has improved a lot in recent years, it still adds cost and complexity to solar setups. Now let's shift our focus to wind turbines. Wind energy works by capturing the kinetic energy of moving air. When wind flows over the turbine's blades, it causes them to rotate, spinning a generator that produces electricity. Unlike solar panels, Wind turbines rely on motion rather than light, which means they can operate day or night as long as the wind is blowing. This gives wind energy an advantage in regions with strong and consistent wind patterns. Wind turbines are particularly powerful on a large scale. A single modern turbine can generate enough electricity to power hundreds or even thousands of homes. Wind farms, especially offshore ones, can produce massive amounts of clean energy with a relatively small environmental footprint in terms of emissions. This makes wind energy a popular choice for countries aiming to scale up renewable power quickly. That said, wind energy comes with its own challenges. Wind is unpredictable and output can fluctuate dramatically depending on weather conditions. Calm days can mean little to no electricity production. Turbines also require specific locations, open spaces with strong steady winds, which limits where they can be built. Urban areas, for example, are usually not ideal for large wind turbines due to space constraints, safety concerns, and noise. Speaking of noise, 
Wind turbines often face criticism for their visual and sound impact. While modern turbines are much quieter than older models, the low humming sound and towering structures can still bother nearby residents. Some people also feel that turbines disrupt natural landscapes. Solar panels, by comparison, tend to blend in more easily, especially when installed on rooftops. When it comes to maintenance, solar panels generally have the upper hand. Since they don't have moving parts, they require minimal upkeep, mostly cleaning and occasional inspections. Wind turbines, on the other hand, have complex mechanical components that experience constant motion. This means higher maintenance costs and more frequent repairs, especially for turbines located offshore or in harsh environments. Environmental impact is another area worth examining. Both technologies significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions compared to fossil fuels. Solar panels do require energy and raw materials to manufacture, and their disposal at the end of their lifespan raises concerns about electronic waste. Wind turbines can affect bird and bat populations, although improved designs and placement strategies have helped reduce these risks. Overall, both options are far cleaner and more sustainable than coal, oil, or gas. Another important consideration is scalability. Solar power is easier to scale on a small level. A homeowner can start with a few panels and expand over time. Wind energy usually requires larger investments and is better suited for utility-scale projects. Small wind turbines do exist, but they are less common and often less efficient in residential settings. So which one wins? The honest answer is that neither solar panels nor wind turbines are perfect on their own. Solar power excels in accessibility, low maintenance, and quiet operation. Wind energy shines in large-scale production and nighttime generation. Each has strengths that compensate for the other's weaknesses. In fact, the future of renewable energy likely depends on using both together, along with improved energy storage and smarter power grids. Instead of asking whether solar panels are better than wind turbines, a more useful question might be, how can we combine them effectively? By integrating multiple renewable sources, we can create a more stable, reliable, and sustainable energy system. The real winner isn't solar or wind. It's a future where clean energy works together to power our world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.